What's going on everybody? In a couple of short moments, my friend Alex is going to be coming over to pick me up. And you guys might know Alex if you watch my pro wrestling podcast videos. He's the co-host of that. But today, this has nothing to do with pro wrestling. Today, him and I are going on a little bit of an adventure. We're going to a place called Feltville. I found out about this place from Weird New Jersey Post like two days ago. Now, Feltville is apparently an abandoned village located within the Watchung Reservation in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. Us living only 30 minutes from Berkeley Heights... First off, why haven't we heard of this place? And second of all, why haven't we been there? Uh, to me, you guys know I always love to explore. And an abandoned village, not only does that sound cool, but that also sounds like an adventure. So I figured I have to go. Uh, so I threw the idea at Alex. He's down for it. So he's going to be coming to pick me up. We're going to head there. And I'm filming this intro before he's here, obviously. I'm going to put this intro in, and then whatever footage I capture of the village, and hopefully get this video up, by the end of today, and if you guys are watching this today, I record this, and if you're watching in the future, today is Thursday, July 20th, 2017. Also, if anything bad happens, like if we get attacked by the village people, not the Ben, but like the creepy village people, you guys know what I'm saying. Um, this will be, I guess, my last will and testament for where we are, what we saw, and hopefully the documentary of our final hours. Hopefully that doesn't happen, and hopefully you guys get to see a lot of cool things in this abandoned village, which is I'm hoping I see too. I saw a bunch of pictures, and I'm very excited for this. So guys, that's where I'm going to leave you at for now. Coming up shortly, through the process of amazing editing, you guys are going to come walk with us through this abandoned village. Let's hope we come back okay, and let's hope this becomes an awesome video. I'll see you guys later. What's up, everyone? Uh, we just got here down in the deserted village of Feltville. Feltville. Um, this is one abandoned house that we found. Definitely interesting. Let's take a look at what we can see. Well, I'm out of ideas. Is there anything in the house? There's a building in there. There's a building in there. No, there's a desk in there. That's what I meant to say. All right, guys, we're going to, I guess, take a walk down to this uh, historic cemetery that's apparently down here. Um, so I guess let's just follow the road. It's actually really cool down here. It's been like 95 degrees all day. And... Um, Thankfully, that I guess the trees help to um, cover up some of the heat. Put the recording back. All right, guys, I think we see it up here. We're coming up on this, apparently, this historic cemetery. With my luck, I'm going to be recording this and I'm going to fall. Well, we know um, where to put them, right? <laughs> yeah. So let's see if I can speed it up a little bit. Let's see what we got up here. Now, guys, this was apparently um, a mill town back in the day. Um, I'm going to go around the front because I don't want to walk on top of anyone's graves, God I'm forbid. Walk in their graves. And this is why he's going to be smited down in the future. Yeah, exactly. uh, rest in peace to all these people. Look how old these are 1776, 1785. Died November 1st, 1776. Just even look at the style. A lot of gnats out here. Look, we got November 27th. Are those the same people? Uh, relatives. But both the same death date, too. Oh, I guess so. For those that don't know, the year 1776, what happened during then? America was born. Yes, that is correct. He's, this guy was a judge advocate, Wilcox. It's like all this, definitely the same family. Even this guy, uh, or f woman, Phoebe. That's a good question. Interesting. Oh, well, if you read up there, the Wilcox and Badgley Family Cemetery. Ah, uh, that all makes sense now. Up to two dozen people. Which, I mean, we only got five 
gravestones, which is interesting for two dozen. Where did the other ones go? Exactly. Guess we're gonna head this way, we'll see what we find. I'll pause the recording for now. Look at that, guys, just look at the depth here. It's a depth perception. If anyone was gonna fall down here, man, this is gonna be dangerous. Let's see how close of a look I can get before... I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but even below that little walkway down there, that goes down even farther. It's wild. Just tell you, it's nature, it's beautiful. Alright guys, um, we're trying to get this abandoned village, we definitely walked the wrong way. We're not very good at maps. That says tennis over there, and it looks like there's a tennis court. Which is kind of cool. And this says watch on. Looks like there's a watch on over here. Uh, let's see where we go. Deer path. The stable. Um, well, guys, deserted village is this way. We're gonna need a couple minutes to decide, I think. Hi, right, guys. Uh, I'm definitely. What is this sign? Hold on. Let's see. David Felt House Site. The founder of Feltville lived here with his family from 1845 to 1860. Well, there's clearly not a house here anymore, which is a little eh, but I think the village is right over there. I'm seeing some buildings. Let's go take that walk. Alright guys, I think we finally made it up here. Looks like we made it. Um... We're gonna say that's a deserted house because the roof is caved in, which is um. Judging by the no trespassing sign, I that know. too. But apparently, this was house number four. Look at it. They, they say these buildings go back to um to the 18th century. Because apparently, this was a little booming town back in the day. Uh, that one for uh, are those well, propane. Are those propane tanks. Yeah. Why? Heating. Someone lives there. Yeah, but look at it. Someone might still live here. There's still a mailbox. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Alright, let's um let's walk back that way and swoop around and see what we got with those other houses. Let's do it. So yeah guys, this is um definitely a little interesting little abandoned area. Uh, I could definitely imagine that coming here at night would be completely creepy. And, you know, this might be like a Blair Witch Project area for all we know. Granted, this is a public reservation park, so... So definitely a Blair Witch Project. Yeah, so I mean, anyone's allowed back here. And it's not that far off, um, what was it, I-78? Yep. So... Just follow your map quest until it leads you to get lost, like I did. <laughs> oh, man. But just imagine walking down this road this late at night. I mean, not this late, but like late coming down here at like 11 if this place is still like open I walk a lonely road the only one that I have ever known look at this man <laughs> all these broken down buildings Ooh. imagine just walking on one of those falling right through like the freaking deck hey let's try that uh you could I won't how much do you think the hospital will pay me or I'll get, or how much money will I get for my hospital bills? Well, okay. seeing as how these say no trespassing, it's all on you. Darn. All right, well, <laughs> I won't do it. Just look at this, guys. I would love to have been able to get into one of these buildings, um, but they're all padlocked, as you could probably see right over there. So really, if I was gonna get in, the only way is like breaking through a window, but I'm not gonna okay, do so that because we'll... that's gonna look terrible for me. And I can only imagine what's on the inside. I don't know if they're gutted, if they left furniture or anything in there. At least one junk. Look at this, though. It's crazy. Imagine they cleaned all this up and they actually made, like, tours into here. Uh, that like, would cost more money than they probably make by... They probably make now. Well, I'm surprised they haven't, like, tried to knock any of these down. Look, look at that window up there. It looks like a creepy window that someone would just, like walk out of and stare at you probably used to be a little girl that stared back in the old days there's a goat it's a ghost or in that window up there probably more like that one's closed now if you turn over there you can see the back of the other buildings we were at yeah let's try to let's take a walk up there 
And this was the execution chamber where they used to... The... Well, no, this is an interesting one, guys, because as much as the building's all broken down, it looks like, there's an air conditioner running up there. A classic 1800s air conditioner. Um... Actually, there's two air conditioners, so someone might actually still be living in this building. I mean, the bottom looks like there's storage. There's like a dresser in there. We are now about to commit breaking and entering. No, we just, are not. Just kidding. All this wood down here. Huh. That's interesting. All right, guys, so we're coming up on uh, these sets of buildings, which, I mean, they might be abandoned. This one still has a mailbox. This one um, looks like there's a vegetable garden. Yeah, so, here. so this one's they, probably still occupied. Apparently the town um, still has a few residents. If you um, look to your right, you'll see a right bunch there. of cars. Yeah, there's cars over there. I'm not going to get their license plates. <laughs> um, but these two, especially this one over here, look at this. Want to go up to this real quick, take a look at these buildings. It must be weird living in what a, an abandoned building would be, but it's also probably really, really peaceful. I could just imagine. It's also really hot. Or in the wintertime, really cold. Well, think about how long these houses have probably actually been standing, you know what I mean? This deserted historic village is government property. We can't enter it. Uh, it's punishable by law. And I would need um, a bolt cutter to get in there anyway. But you can only just imagine what might be in here. What might be hiding in here. Who might be hiding in here. Over under five dead bodies. I'm going to say there probably used to be a deck there that came down. Uh, or else people were probably just jumping out of the house and rolling down the hill. I believe they're called verandas. Well, no, you're talking about the thing up top, right? Yes. I'm talking about the fact that there's a door right there and there's no way down. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> huh. This might actually be that stable. So, you guys, we're coming up on another building here, but this building looks uh, well kept. There's some benches on the side over here. There's a light on over there. Uh, there's it's also... Motel 6. It leaves a light on for you. <laughs> But it also looks kind of deserted. There's a sign. Let's go see what the sign says. We'll figure that one out as, I guess, we get up there. Something barn. Masker's, Masker's barn. barn. That sounds like a, a killer would be in there. I'm just saying. The tale yeah. of the Masker's Barn. Let's see. This structure was built by Warren Ackerman to serve as a house. And more words. <laughs> from 1882 to 1916. Um, just, uh... Park Commission bought it in 1927, and they restored the building in 2011. That's why it seems a little more upkept. Let's see if we can get a. Actually, if you turn to this direction, we got an inside. Yeah, and there's like buckets and water in there. That's kind of cool. I'm more interested if you turn right over here. What do we got over here? It looks like an abandoned praying thing. Church like a shrine. Joe's praying. How does that look like a church to you? To me, that looks like a, a camping area. They sit there, and then that's where they do all the praying. Oh, maybe it was like a, a wedding chapel looking area. That's what I'm. Yeah, there we go. Huh. Well, we get there's flowers on it too. Oh, this, yeah, this has to be a wedding chapel. Yeah, there's balloons. I do believe it's a wedding chapel. Little shot glasses. Mazel tov. Some flowers that have probably been dead for about 15 years. Um, yeah, I mean, I could see this being like the place where all the cults come to. This is where they do their sacrifices, oh, oh, guys. Meant, oh, cool. I thought you meant like horses have weddings. Oh, no. That would be an interesting idea. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, that's what we got there. We're going to step on our plastic cup. Cool. Thank God that wasn't glass. Yeah, I guess we have to pick up and drive them to the hospital. Hmm. Do we want to go down there? See what's down there? Not really. Uh -huh. we're going. Let's find out, guys. Into the darkness we go. Hi, guys. We're heading down this road. Um, it's supposed to be a road to a site of a mill. I don't know if the mill is still oh, standing. Oh, oh, all right. Everyone watch your step. Yeah. Um, let's see if the mill is still down here. Let's see if there's a bear down here. Who knows? Uh, it's a very steep road. It's a very beautiful-looking atmosphere, though. I say we have about a 70% chance of finding either a bear or a mill. Yeah. I'm betting on the mill. 
Probably. I wish it was a million, but... One in a million? Let's find out, guys. We're gonna walk this thing. Let's see if there's still a mill down here somewhere. The, like, point of, like, we missed the mill, we didn't go that way. Yeah, I'm gonna say, guys, the mill was definitely down that way. Uh, looks like they might have demolished the building, but there is a road leading down there. However, we did reach a nice little, uh, bridge coming up. Apparently, this is called the Blue Brook Bridge. Three Bs. The bridge to Terabithia. That's not three Bs. T Terabithia is a T. There's like a B in there somewhere. That was BTT, the, what you said. Bridge to Terabithia. Yeah, but there's like an extra B added in there. Huh. Just remember that all bridges have the word B in it. Or the letter. Look, well, we got a little B. stream down here that looks completely contaminated, which... Ugh. Come in with two hands, come out with how many? Eighteen. Huh, alright. Oh, but look, it's flowing down here nicely. It's, it's okay, probably like a waterfall. Nicely, but, yeah. but no, but it's at, least, it's at least flowing, you know? So you know it's an active water source. Get off of me. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to catch it on a camera, all the, signs, uh, the sounds of the gnats. Guys, we've already discussed this. We probably should have put bug spray on before coming down here. It was a dumb move on our part. Can I say my joke? No. Darn it. <laughs> yes, that's it, guys. Um, pretty much that's all we could find in this uh, abandoned village of Feltville in the Wachung Reservation off Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. It was cool seeing all these buildings as much as we couldn't go in them. Just the, uh, the history that was involved and just imagining, uh, I guess, people living here at some point and it being a little population. Exactly. I encourage everyone at some point in their life to go to an abandoned village and do crazy stuff in there. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Guys, uh, leave some comments below what you thought of this little exploration, I guess you could call it. And make uh, sure to subscribe to Glenn Gonzalez on the YouTube page at youtube.glens, whatever his website is. YouTube.com slash double G392. Perfect. Um, yeah, leave your comments below. What abandoned places have you gone to? What places are good hiking spots that you could recommend? What are just some weird things you've seen in your lifetime, guys? Uh, leave that all below. Like the video. Go check out all the other videos I put out. No matter what they are, leave your comments. Good or bad, I'll take it. Um, and yeah, guys, that is the abandoned village of Feltville, New Jersey. And uh, thank you for watching, as always. Yeah.